I hear a lot of people say, Sean's a football player. You don't win 100 amateur boxing matches if you're a football player. My style is, uh, you know, it comes from my dad. I think my dad just kind of looked at what he knew my abilities were going to be and you know, what he knew my physical stature was going to be like um, based on his you know, his own experiences with himself. And, you know, he got me going like that. Uh, we watched a lot of Ali and we watched a lot of Mike Tyson, you know, so always knew you had to be aggressive. And somehow, some way, I, I fell in love with Marvin Hagler, who I thought possessed both of those characteristics. He was what I considered to be the greatest boxer puncher ever. The the relentlessness that you see and, and the, the the aggression that you see is just for me over a period of time realizing that a lot of guys can't keep up with it, they don't like it, and they can't handle it. If you go back to old air, I'll have to link him with Aaron Pryor. Coming, you know, coming forward, punching hard, digging down deep, fighting anybody that, that comes in your way. The reason I think a lot of people have always died, Sean, is, you know, a lot of guys knew Sean from the amateurs. A lot of guys and their handlers or management or promoters didn't want them to take that fight. And a guy such as Danny Garcia, for example, who said Sean was tailor-made for him, we thought, okay, it's very hard for us to get fights. Finally, somebody wants to fight us. Let's go to New York and make a fight with Danny. I got somebody to get behind me, give me the go-ahead to get in the ring, and I got in the ring barking, and uh, he took notice of that. And uh, the rest played itself out the, the exact way I wanted it to. I don't think the fight transpired because of him walking into the ring, but at the end of the day, it wasn't the first time somebody called me out and won't be the last. So come September 8th, I'm gonna be ready. Danny Garcia is expecting Sean to be a one-trick pony and just run in and he can just do a counter and throw some nuclear shots. He has some different uh, talents and I think that's going to give uh, Danny a, a big problem. This is definitely a legacy fight. This is one of the fights that a lot, a lot like Keith Thurman. It's going to be one of those fights that you talk about for a long time and you remember for a long time. But I want to be on the right side of that. I've never won anything more than I want this win.